Alright, what's up guys, Lewis Arts here and I'm doing a tutorial on how to make a custom signature the easiest way possible. Okay, first off, um if you we're gonna do it simple this time. So we're just gonna, you know, create you're gonna have to have Adobe Illustrator for this though. You're gonna wanna make a text layer and you're gonna wanna change the text, I'd say to about seventy two. You know, you could just do the drop down, but I choose not to. Let's just say Lewis Arts. Highlight that. Let's see. Now that you need this font. Um, it's a really good graffiti font. Yeah, most people's probably seen this font before. Let's make it bigger since we're okay. Let's say about you know, forty PT. All right, there we go. Oh crap! Let's not do that. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now. Let me do something like this. I didn't do it. God, I'm sorry. I'm really sick right now. It really sucks. Okay, click out of that. Now, uh, most of these are just brush tools, really. That's what I did for mine. And let me pull mine up for you. For you. If I can find it. It's white because of what I'm doing. I don't no you can't see it. <laughs> the fuck. Um, I think this is it. Yeah, it's that. You basically just make a bunch of brush strokes around your name. Okay, so you're gonna want to get the brush tool and let's ugh, drag this over so we can see it. <clears throat> you don't want a basic brush. That that would look retarded. I mean you could do you could do a few. <laughs> let's do a few with the basic. You just want to be careful when you... I mean, it's going to straighten up a little bit. <clears throat> when you go back into it. But just nice and carefully. Go around your text layer. Wherever you want to put the lines, it don't matter where you put the lines, really. Let's get this out of my way. And done. Okay. So that's all I'm gonna do for that. Okay, so let's let's see what this brush will do actually. I wanna see what this will look like. You could use it. I don't like it because of the edge, but let's go. Artistic, um let's let's try ink first. <clears throat> Um, let's try this one. See how it looks first. Yeah, you could use that. And then just make bigger lines and thicker lines. Let's see, put it down there. And see, it's basically coming together. You can tell. You're just taking a bunch of brushes, basically. And just outlining it. That's basically what this entire thing... Ooh, no. Basically what this entire thing is, is outlining your name with a bunch of random lines. Okay, now just go ahead and move over to... Hmm, let's see a score down on this one. Let's try this one. Yeah, this one's good. It's kind of rough, but... You can do some type of things. Basically, you know, this is just outlining the text, like I said. And you can do, like, different, like, you can draw your signature and put it in here and then just vector it and shit like that. But if you want to do it simple, this really didn't take too long, I don't think. Um... You can just do it like I'm doing for this one. <clears throat> God, I probably sound really bad. Alright, we're going to put one inside this one. And one on the outside of that. And right there. Okay, so it's coming together. I can tell, kind of. Okay, it's this one we're supposed to be on. You can look for other brushes you want to use. 
you know you don't have to use the same brush <laughs> obviously as you can tell uh, what I've done in this video you can just make different lines whatever you want you know this is just a quick one for my tutorial this is not really something I would use honestly but you'll have enough time to basically do something so anyways you're gonna wanna save that uh, I usually save it for web as a PNG 24 you know only save it when you're done though obviously so I'm just gonna save it as tutorial then I'm gonna drag it into Photoshop so let's go desktop find tutorial okay so I think it's pretty good position for me anyways and I'm going to go to free transform and then the edit part I'm just gonna like squish it together <clears throat> I don't want that movement and, you know you can just mess with it I guess you can say until you get what you want <clears throat> okay, and I guess that looks okay. Now, usually your background's gonna be black, so as you can see, I made mine white, but you can always change it just by hitting Control U for the hue and saturation, and coming down to lightness and brightness, and you can change it to black or white, whichever one you prefer. I'm gonna leave it as black right now. <clears throat> but yeah, then you just, you know, let's see. I'm gonna change that to white right now. And then when you do it, let me see here. Probably gonna want to shrink it anyways. And then you know you can't just hit this thing right here, show transformation controls, and that will help you rotate it. Okay, we'll get the fuck out of my way. Okay, so just put it like that. You show transform, and then do that. Put it on and you're basically done. You've got your signature and all I really required was a font and a bunch of brushes. And these are default brushes, but you can just go through the libraries. Anyways guys, if this guy if this tutorial helped you make a signature, leave a like and comment. And if it didn't help you, leave a like and comment and I'll do it anyways. And I'll do another one and do it without the font because honestly it don't look as good. But it's easy. But it's really easy. So I'll see you guys later.